Every day, the world bombards you with messages. You're told how to dress, what to buy, what to celebrate, what to condemn, who to vote for, who to cancel, and what to believe. Everyone seems to have something to say about what you're supposed to be thinking. More precisely, they don't really want you to think very much at all. However, one of your most important responsibilities in order to be a good human is to control your thoughts. But how do you do that when the culture floods you with an endless stream of foolish notions and mixed messages? The answer is simpler than you might realize. The solution begins with memorizing scripture, memorizing the nuggets of wisdom that fill the pages of the Bible. You see, your greatest asset is God working in you and through you. And this is best accomplished by allowing God's word to abide in you and shape your mindset and worldview. But God's wisdom isn't going to chase you down and jump inside your head. You need to chase it down. You need to seek it like it really matters, like it's the oxygen of a high character future and the fuel for a meaningful legacy. To get God's word abiding in you, just start memorizing. Not the whole thing, of course, but with each verse you commit to memory, you will be constructing your own spiritual medicine cabinet. The wisdom, the truth, the peace of God's world will be instantly available to you 24 seven. You'll have it to depend on and lean into, especially when things aren't making much sense. Remember, your most powerful tool of discernment is comparing what God says against what the world is promoting. You see, most people don't filter the thousands of messages that pour into their minds every day. They seldom apply a grid of discernment to determine what's true, what's valuable, what's harmful, what's worth keeping, and what needs to be ignored or tossed. Little by little, as you memorize a new verse, you etch scripture permanently in your mind where it abides in you and unleashes tremendous power. With these apples of gold sticky inside your head, you gain the strength and endurance to act as he would have you, not as our culture would have you. This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.